Hi, this is Mr. Ward, and I'm going to talk about the World Meteorological Organization, which is the United Nations uh, Organization for Monitoring Weather Around the World, the World Weather Information Service official forecasts here. And so um, here's probably the easiest way to navigate this page once you click on the link is it you see this map and you can drag the map around with your cursor uh, and you want to look for the little icons on the map because those are going to be official weather reports. So let's say maybe you want to get some information about how the weather is in Antanavarivo uh, in Madagascar. So we'll click on that and wait for it to go there. Presumably it will go there. There it is. Yes. So now we're in Madagascar and it gives us some information. So first of all, on go, it, this is the current temperature, 21 degrees Celsius. However, what we really want is the low and high for today. And it's actually the 13th because in Madagascar, it's already the 13th. It's tomorrow. Um, I'm making this video on the 12th in Massachusetts. So uh, that's across the international date line. So it's the next day. So 13 degrees and 26 degrees. Notice there's a C here. That means that this is in Celsius. Uh, 26 degrees Celsius is somewhere getting close to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so it's warmish. Conditions are foggy. Uh, and then we can go over here and get the the uh, humidity, which is 46%. That is a water droplet, apparently. So 46% of the water that could be absorbed by the air at the current temperature and pressure is being absorbed by the air. And then we have wind speed of 22 kilometers per hour. Now, that's not miles per hour, so you'd want to record that unit. Uh, there are about 1.6 kilometers in every mile. So you could just divide 22 by 1.6 to find out the miles per hour if you wanted. That says east southeast. That means the wind is coming from the east southeast and it's heading towards the west northwest. So east southeast is the name for the wind because it's coming from the east southeast. Now you might notice that this is not reporting the barometric pressure. So uh, if you cannot get the barometric pressure for a particular place, uh, then you can leave it blank. But I would recommend instead of leaving it blank, going to one of the other weather sites and you can copy pasta the name of the place and maybe go to uh, the weather channel. And I'll navigate up past the video of the bear. When we go here, and let's see what the Weather Channel says about the barometric pressure. Okay. So we get today. <clears throat> and we go down here and it gives us a pressure. Uh, 30.24 inches of barometric pressure. Uh, the inches, by the way, is a measurement of how many inches high uh, the air pressure pushes a liquid in a tube, uh, and usually that liquid is mercury. This arrow, you might guess, indicates that the pressure is rising right now. Uh, that means we're probably heading towards better weather. Lower pressure tends to be bad weather. All right. It gives us, of course, that it's a waning gibbous. But that is uh, how you might use a combination of sites. Uh, but this will give you uh, a lot of information and you can navigate all over the world with this. Uh, so use the sites in combination. It will help you. All right. I hope that was helpful.